um, from a local resident that who uh, warns, the, the post warns, that the, the author of this Facebook post's neighbor's daughter, the author's neighbor's daughter's friend, I'll say it again, the author's neighbor's daughter's friend had discovered that her neighbors, Haitian immigrants, were trying to eat her cat. <laughs> she also claimed, this time crediting the rangers and the police, that uh, similar fates were befalling ducks and geese at the local park. In other words, Haitian immigrants, and there were a lot of Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, were eating people's pets and even eating the ducks and geese at the local park. Uh, this message uh, was clipped, screenshot, and then shared everywhere. All over social media, all over Facebook, all over, um, all over X, all over Twitter. Um, it, it became, uh, you know, a panic. A uh, number of people started uh, commenting on this. It was picked up by people, uh, of course, on the right. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, immigrants eating pets. Um, and uh, it, just, it just blew up. In addition, somebody made a AI-generated image of Trump defending baby animals from barbarous invaders. You can imagine Trump heroically defending the little baby cats and baby dogs and whatever, cat, duck, ducks, geese, whatever. Uh, and this AI-generated image exploded all over the web um, as, as, you know, see, this is what happens when you let it immigrants, they start eating your pets. <laughs> um, I mean, Trump is protecting ducks and kitties. I mean, he can't lose this election. I mean, he's, he's obviously going to win it. Now, the problem is that um, you can look, but there's no evidence that any of this happened. Uh, there's no evidence that any immigrant is eating cats. Indeed, there was a woman in uh, Columbus, Ohio, I think, that was um, caught eating a cat but she wasn't an immigrant. Um, there are other photos of somebody taking a duck or a goose from the local park in Columbus, Ohio, which is not that far from Springfield. Again, not clear that it's an immigrant. According to local police, there are no reports of pets being stolen and eaten or stolen at all. Um, and uh, no evidence of the ducks and geese disappearing. J.D. Vance, of course, jumped in on this. Uh, he said, uh, quote, months ago I raised the issue of Haitian illegal immigrants draining social services and generally causing chaos all over Springfield, Ohio. I commented at the time and did a little research, and it turns out Springfield, Ohio, became a, 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 a magnet for um, uh, for immigrants because Springfield, Ohio was generating more jobs than they could fill. There was a massive labor shortage in Springfield, Ohio that caused them to encourage immigrants. Indeed, the city was encouraging immigrants to come to Springfield to fill the jobs. And, and Springfield local businesses were benefiting enormously from the influx of immigrants who were working at the jobs that were filled. Now, since then, it could be that this created a certain buzz around uh, immigrants and some immigrants have come there and have not found jobs or maybe illegal immigrants have come there, it's not clear. Or asylum seekers who it takes a long time for them to get work permits but who would love to work and where their jobs are in Springfield. Uh, so I'm not saying there's no situation in Springfield, there might be. Uh, but it's, um, it, it's not like immigrants have just invaded this place, it's that this place had jobs, they were looking for people and they invited the immigrants in and they benefit from it. Um, anyway, J.D. Vance continues, reports now show that people have their pets abducted and eaten by people who shouldn't be in this country. 
where is our borders are. So let's blame this on, let's blame the non-existent abduction of pets and eating of pets on Kamala Harris. I mean, why not? What the hell? Truth is irrelevant when it comes to political campaigns. Uh, and uh, why not vilify a bunch of immigrants and make them look like barbarians? Uh, it serves multiple purposes for the multiple purposes for the right. Serves multiple purposes for the um, for the uh, campaign. Um, <laughs> so again, Haitian immigrants are not, most of the Haitian immigrants in Springfield are not there illegally. Uh, the city, if you go to the city's website, you can find an explanation of that. Uh, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, they'll use any excuse, including false stories, to vilify immigrants, to, vilif to, to make a big deal out of an issue that is not even real, uh, just in order to win some uh, points uh, with an electorate that seems massively terrified of immigrants. Uh, the number one issue on most people's minds, I think some surveys higher than inflation, is immigration. Um, why, what is it the immigrants are doing to you? 90% of Americans don't even interact with immigrants, have, have, it has no impact on their lives, and yet this is the number one issue affecting everybody's lives. Um, yeah. Eating cats. That's where we are today. Uh, fake news all over the place. Uh, I wonder what, what, what the authorities are going to do about the fake news uh, that is going on. I wonder if eating cats is going to come up in the debate tonight. 